we are going to be looking at the preview app on your MacBook. The preview app is Apple's built-in PDF handler. If you are familiar with Adobe, you may see some things that are familiar um, in the preview app, but for the most part, preview functions as a very efficient and quick way to handle a PDF. So several things we're going to look at. Um, we're going to talk about how we can manipulate a document, how to create a document, how to modify one. But first I wanted to talk about why you would use the preview app. So I'm going to open a PDF that I have already prepared. And anytime you open a PDF on your Mac, it will default to the preview app. Now if you notice in my dock, the preview app is this app. Our, icon right here. It has two photos and then a little magnifier over it and if you open your launch pad you can open the preview app anytime that you would need or want to. So once preview opens it is ready to handle a PDF. Preview also handles images so sometimes if you download an image from the website or someone shares one with you if it does not show up in your photos which we will actually talk about in a later video then preview is going to be the application that will handle and open up the, the image for you so I also have an image that I've dropped in here and you'll see that when I double click that it will open up this image so it does both document PDF and image um, JPEGs, PNG, and different file formats. So we're going to start with the documents and the first thing that I want to note before we go into any of the features or any of the menu options is your preview preferences. Remember every application that is on your MacBook will have preferences under the left hand side at the top under the name of the applications. If you are an Adobe user and you have an Adobe Pro application on your Mac that you have used or you've been using one on a PC for a long time, again you will notice some differences. I'm not going to go into those differences too much with our preview series. We're just going to focus on the tools that are here and how you can use it to maximize the PDFs that you may want to use in your classroom. Please go ahead and go to the next video which is where we're going to talk about opening a PDF and navigating the menu bar and the options that are available there.